It's showtime, sport fan. I want to welcome you to a very special edition of Sports Center with Jay Onright and my new co-host, Jasper Campbell. Jasper, you look fantastic. Where'd you get that suit? Uh, the, the Bay. Yeah. Nice. Hey, shout out to the Bay. That is fantastic. I love, I love everything about it. I love the bow tie. How do you feel? You feel like you look good? Yeah. I agree. I agree. Jasper's here with our friends at Make-A-Wish Foundation. Just before Jasper turned two, he was diagnosed with brain cancer. Since that diagnosis, he's fought through two relapses and three long cancer battles. And now you're nine years old, and you're getting stronger every day, and we're so proud of you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you. You look fantastic. Now, later in the show, you're going to be interviewing a couple of our friends, uh, James Duthie at the Masters. If he bothers to show up, we know how he is, right? Yeah. And, uh, and Jamie McLennan, our friend Jamie McLennan, we're going to find out the origin of the nickname Noodles. Are you ready to get started? Yes. Let's do it. Well, I am thrilled to be here to witness the exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with my co-host Jasper Campbell and our good friend James Duthie, who is leading our Masters coverage at Augusta. Okay, Jasper, take it away. Yeah. Um, hi, James. What's your favorite Part about covering the Masters? Well, that is a great question, Jasper. And first of all, my favorite part is now talking to you and getting to do this interview with you. It's, it's great that this show finally has a professional host. Yeah. Uh, I just love the Masters, Jasper. It's a long winter in Canada, and I always feel like the Masters week is kind of the beginning of spring. You're closing in on the Stanley Cup playoffs and NBA playoffs. And it's so pretty down here. The golf course is, is so green. Everything is perfect. And I just love golf and, and watching guys like Tiger Woods and Jordan Spieth play. It's just my favorite week of the year. Oh, well, speaking of Tiger Woods, Jasper and I were wondering, James, do you think Tiger can win this weekend? Oh, Jay, it would be, it would be incredible. I, I just think that that's so much to ask when the guy, not only with a bad back and a bad leg, but having not played since the Masters in 2020, and this being his first real tournament besides that little father-son thing he did with Charlie, it's a lot to ask. So if it was any other human being, I would say no chance whatsoever. <laughs> but because it's Tiger Woods, when he won in 2019, I said to myself, I will never ever underestimate the guy again so it's possible I just think it's it would be an incredible storybook but I think highly improbable for everything he has to overcome I like the stance yeah let's do it like that that was cool how you're sitting there or like this okay let's do it like this <laughs> there you go now another thing we were wondering James is which of the three Canadians do you think has the best chance to win Another good question. Clearly, Jasper wrote all of these, Jay. He did. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I would say Corey Connors, <laughs> just because Corey Connors has two straight top tens here, and is just such a great ball striker, and he seems to have really figured out this place. Mac Hughes is a really good player and a fantastic putter, but he's yet to contend here. And Mike Weir, who, who was so great today, and along with Mackenzie Hughes, won the par three contest. And he's hitting the ball great for his age, Mike. But I, I think it's too much to ask, Mike Weir, uh, with all these long ball hitters out here. So Corey Connors, to me, is easily the best chance for Canada. But Hughes has a good shot as well. Jasper, do you think you could read that question for James? Yeah. After the Masters is over, will you take another six months vacation? <laughs> Jasper, listen. <laughs> You cannot fall under the bad influence of Jay, okay, Jasper? No matter what Jay tells you, okay, of all the things he tells you tonight, don't believe the stuff about James not working, okay? <laughs> James is a very hard worker, Jasper, a very hard worker, okay? You know uh, but yes, I will be taking four months off as soon as this is over. <laughs> and it's well-deserved. Thanks, James! Uh, thank you very much, Jasper, and thank you, Jay. That was a lot of fun. And uh, that has been Jasper interviews our friend James Duthie. Tampa Bay has one more. <laughs> what? <laughs>
That's for our You Blew It segment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty good. You rolled with that one pretty good, buddy. Yeah, but <laughs> it was on my face. I know, I know. Tampa Bay had won the last two Stanley Cups, but the Leafs and Austin Matthews beat them on Monday night, and Wednesday, Tampa was facing another tough game against Alex Ovechkin and the Caps. Having fun, buddy? Yeah. Okay, well, guess what? I'm going to tell you about something really cool. It's the NBA's 75th anniversary, and the Nets and Knicks game on ESPN2 Wednesday used graphics from basketball telecasts of the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. What are the 90s? Good question, buddy. Let's find out. Now it's time for another exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview between my co-host Jasper Campbell and our good friend and NHL analyst Jamie McLennan. Jasper, take it away with the first question. Hi, Jamie. Do you think the Leafs will win a playoff series this year? Uh, I'm hoping they do. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, on... Honestly, I work in Toronto. I'm on a show called Overdrive, and we talk about them every day. And uh, it would be nice for them to win a playoff series so that it extends the excitement around the city. They're a very good team. The only thing I would say, Jasper, is that they have very tough competition, whether they play Tampa, whether they play Boston, or they play, play Carolina. Uh, all three of those teams are going to be really good. So... Uh, I hope they're up for the task because uh, it would be nice to see them win a playoff round and have a nice long run in the spring. Okay, now it's time for your next question. What's your next question? Who will finish first in the Pacific, Calgary or Edmonton? I think Calgary. Um, you know, they've, they're a team that's had a fantastic season. Edmonton started 16-5, and five, then they had a really tough patch where it was about 16 games where they didn't win a game, and now they're on fire again. But uh, Calgary's been a little bit more consistent. I think they have a couple games in hand. So I'm going to say the Calgary Flames are going to win the, uh, the Pacific. Does Winnipeg still have a chance to make playoffs? Uh, I want to say yes. I'll, I'll be honest, Jasper. I chose them as a team that was going to be really dangerous this season, and it just hasn't been their season. They've had a really tough uh, time with COVID. They've had some injuries, some inconsistencies, and I don't even know if they're going to be able to beat Detroit Red Wings tonight. So it's, uh, I'm going to say that they're not going to be able to make the playoffs just based on them being seven points out, and I don't know if they're going to get a couple points even in, as we speak. How did you get the nickname? The Noodles nickname. My nickname, Noodles? Yeah. Holy smokes, that's a tough question. <laughs> um, when I played junior hockey, I, we used to stop at these tiny little places to eat uh, on the road, and they would always give me indigestion. I would feel <laughs> like every time I was playing hockey, uh, we would eat like Salisbury steaks and some really nasty stuff. Ooh. So I started to stay on the bus and make myself some craft dinner, oh, some, craft some dinner. noodles. And yeah, so that was one of my favorite things. So I would make it on the bus. And after a while, other guys on the team, they didn't want to feel bad either after dinner. So they, they started eating noodles with me. So <laughs> it kind of was a nickname that stuck with me. And I don't know uh, if you like noodles, but I do. So that's why my nickname is Noodles. You know what else he loves? Popcorn. Do you like popcorn, Jasper? Yeah. He eats more popcorn than any human I've ever met in my life. It's true. I love popcorn. <laughs> it is a staple in my house. I love it. It's the best. Uh, this is fantastic. Jamie, thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me. Amazing question, Jasper. You're the first star. You're the best. This has been our good friend, Jamie McClendon, interviewed by Jasper. Okay. Whew. Oh, this is a lot of work. You didn't realize how much work this was, did you? No. Oh, gosh. I tell you.
People say, oh, you don't really work for a living, but now you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jasper, you're a fan of this show, right? Yeah. Mm. Are you a fan of the top 10? Yeah. Yeah. Will you join me for the top 10 plays of the last season of Major League Baseball after the break? Yeah. All right. It's showtime, sports fans. Are you sure you haven't done this before? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. I do it at home, so. Oh, oh yeah, well, it, it shows. You're really good at it. Yeah. You think maybe you want to take my job someday? Sure. Perfect. Can you wait a few years? Yeah. All right, good. I don't know if I trust them.